I tell you, as often as I have recorded, even though it's, you know, not hundreds of times, but you'd think I'd remember to actually turn the camera on, if nothing else. Oof. But no, not me. <clears throat> so I started off uh, kind of trying to get the mouse's fur a little bit under control using some when moose. Oh. I thought it was moose. It's volumizing treatment. Oh, well. Anyway, it kind of helped, but in the process, I wound up snapping his tail off. I didn't get upset. I didn't cry. <laughs> I tried using the super glue. I might have to read the instructions. I thought super glue. Super glued stuff. I tried super gluing uh, matchsticks together earlier. Uh and it wouldn't stick them together, and now it seems to have stuck the clay tail to itself. I don't even know if it's supposed to be used on that, but I wanted a quick, something quick. Um, and it stuck to the pokey tool, my uh, baby wipe, my fingers, but it didn't seem to want to glue the tail. So I don't know. It's on there right now, but I don't know if that's going to be a permanent situation. <laughs> I doubt it. But then I'm thinking, well, maybe I can uh, glue it with E6000, and if it looks too glued, you know, I'll just put like a bandage, you know, like one of those uh, field dressing kind of thing. <laughs> like, like, oops, you know, like he had a, a boo-boo with his tail. All right, so then, what did I do? I think then I just started collecting um, what I needed for this next scene that I wanted to do, and now I've turned my light off. Um, so first I took my stained glass and... I think this is the way I put it down. Did I put it down backwards? No. I think this is the way I had it. I traced it. Then I removed it. Then I turned this over. And this is just like... Oh. This paper paint pad, texture watercolor paper. Uh, and so I'm tracing this on the wrong side because this is what I'm going to look at to cut and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to want I'm going to try to cut through the brick and the um, paper at the same time. And I'm going to do that, I am thinking, hopefully this works of course, and I've already misplaced my little bottle of glue, where did it go, here it is. Um, this is the permanent and re-stickable adhesive as seen on TV. I think I got it off HSN, but, uh, and the print is pretty small. I might need two pairs of glasses for this, uh, cause I can't remember. Directions for repositional bond. Ensure a clean, dry surface. Apply thin layer. Wipe off excess. Let solution dry completely. Solution is to dry when it loosens shiny finish. Use a blow dryer to heat up or speed up the drying process. Okay. I've used it before. I like it um, because 
I can like pull this back up and then I can actually get rid of the glue if I need to. And, like it kind of rubs off. So, but now, I'm like how do I know that I'm putting this, I'm gonna have to draw a line. Uh, let's see. How long wide is this? That's not inches, of course. Rawr. Right around that 15 mark, I think. I'm just going to go with that. I don't know who's going to be testing me. Looks a little crooked, but like I said, I don't think we're going to notice. So I'll just put this right up to the line. All right, so first we have to put the glue. I think I'll just uh, dab it in the corners. Then we want to kind of dab off our excess. And let it dry. All right, so I kind of abruptly uh, brought you in on the project. Um, let's see, it's Saturday. I don't know, like 7 a.m. ish. Usually I'm getting ready to go to sleep. But um, I'm not. So I thought, hey, maybe we could get caught up. Oh, while that's drying, maybe we can get caught up. Um, what did I do? Let's see. I broke the tail. <laughs> Um, okay, the, the hymnal, I added the little bookmark. Oh, here's my little letters. Um, and I, I took a piece of ribbon and wrapped it around a piece of wire. And then I glued it in here. So now... Um, I can wrap it around his arm or front paw or whatever you would call it. Um, and then that would be a way for him to hang on to his hymnal and his little secret mini mouse and then ooh, whoever she is. <laughs> it's not Mrs. Church Mouse, that's for sure. Um, okay, and then here's the, oh, and then I'm forgetting that I have glue. <laughs> oh, we 
have our little wreath. Um, and I made a tombstone. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put rest in peace Mrs. C on here. And maybe some sort of embellishment. Oh, I was gonna look at him at that too, okay. So I took, you know, the same chipboard I've been using all along, which I'm really liking. I mean, yes, a cereal box would work too, but these are so conveniently already cut and you can just throw them in your bag. Um, so I cut uh, this shape and I cut it like a little wider than I wanted it. And then I cut it, you know, I made slits in it. And then I like scored it pretty heavily with the pen where I wanted the shape. And then so then they just, the flaps just folded back. And then I took another strip and glued that to the pieces that I had cut. Um, and then I, of course, forgot to do that on the bottom. So <coughs> I've got a little futzing to do with that. <coughs> and I don't know if you can see or even want to, but... And then I thought, um, you know, just kind of like a little background piece in the sem cemetery area, the burial area, I guess. Um, I'd have just like someone else's little cross. Um, and this will all be with the mouse in front of, you know, next to the church with the stained glass window. And I'm, I'm doing it this way because I want the vellum I'm going to be cutting, you know, the shape out, and then, and then I'm going to, well, you'll see, because I'm going to do it, but um, I want the window to be transparent, I guess is the word, and then put my little tea light behind it, so it looks like, you know, someone's in the church, kind of a thing. So, oh, see, and then you stick your arm in the glue, which I'm going to say might be working. You might be ready to use now. <laughs> That's the test. When you stand up and you have a piece of cardboard stuck to your arm, you're done. Okay, is there something else I did? I did, oh. Um, I wanted to, for the fireplace scene, this is what I was talking about, the super glue, not sticking matchsticks together. Um, what else is in here? My little bag that I took to work. I didn't get to my crocheting of the shawl. Um, so I just took uh, the brown Sharpie and some matchsticks. And I'm just piling them up, and I want them to be, you know, the, the pile in the fire. Um, so I've just got maybe one more to... I missed getting brown on here. But I thought it was kind of cute. I don't know, maybe I'll try to get the flames in between here. Who knows? It's a lot of futzing, but... You know... Once you get an idea, you can't stop. And then I was thinking that next to the chair uh, in the fireplace, if that even comes about, um, I'd want a little table to like rest his pipe or something on, which the pipe is so tiny, you can, I might have to make another pipe because you can't hardly see it. But then I'm thinking like I'll use matchsticks for legs and this can be the table. And then I'll use like the sulfur part of the match as a drawer pull. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just stick the whole, poke a hole and put the whole match stick in there. I don't know. Um, and that would be my, my little table. So that's a work in progress. 
as is everything. So, okay. I think this is done. Now I don't know if I'm flipping them over the right way. And will it matter, she asks. I don't know. So I'm going to butt this up against the line. Um, let's have it. And I might need to, you know, cut more brick. I don't know. But this is just to get me started started hopefully all right and then just butt that up against there and then turn it over and what scissors are we going to use I think I'll just use Good old whatever they are. Fashion accents USA. USA. Alright. Um, you don't see that very often anymore. These must be like really old scissors. <laughs> I think I've tried searching for things made in the USA. They don't actually Although I did find something the other day, it says from Indiana, made in China or something, and it made no sense. I don't, like, really? <laughs> like, which is it? All right. Oh, duh, Shelly, you're not using scissors. Oh, see, I need supervision. I really seriously believe that's true. Okay, now in case this is freaking your eyes out, <laughs> let's turn it off. I probably could set it aside because I don't think I need it right now. And I see tons of evidence that I've left this on my table while I've done gluing. That's not good. Don't do it, people. Not good. All right, so. I think I got y'all caught up. It's Saturday. Oh, it's, uh, huh. How quickly we forget. It's the 11th of September already? Or is it the 10th going on the 11th? I have to, or let's see, I worked Friday morning, which was the 11th, I believe. So now it's the 12th. <laughs> but don't mark your calendars by what I say. All right, and I'm just gonna, you know, try to just freehand this. Oops, okay, I already don't like that because it moved. Why did it move? All right, so we'll try this one. It's on the end of it, I don't know. Uh, And again, you know, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I don't think, anyway. Whoops. Stay glued. Right, that's sort of come. yeah, that's coming through, cutting the chipboard. I don't do a lot of uh, cutting with the, I call them exacto knives. 
I don't know if we're supposed to. <laughs> that might be a, a brand. These cutting tools. Um, I know some people like the box cutters. I've never tried it. I don't know. I just drew this in pencil. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I thought I was going to have to erase or something. Uh, whoops. Keeps. Well, I guess once this comes up, then uh, we can make sure it cuts through the chipboard. But, let's It's hurting my <laughs> I'm pressing pretty hard rather than go over it and over it I guess I'm just trying to get it all done in a couple swoops here The weather, I think it's like this all over the place. At least we didn't get snow like in Colorado and South Dakota. Like what? <laughs> but you know, I'm so tired of it going from 32 degrees and this to like 80 degrees and humid right away in June. You know, here in Minnesota, we're just barely getting over winter by June, you know. And we're plummeted immediately into hot and humid. Uh-oh, that's not a very clean cut, is it? Well... All right, so then the plan is to glue this down. Uh-oh. And I didn't pay attention to... <laughs> Then glue this down. I'm not sure. It's got to be the right way. Even though it doesn't look. Well, let's see. Let's get the. Maybe I have to turn this over. Is that look how it's working? Yeah. Uh, did I, uh, it might have been too complicated for me.
I probably should have done it on the wrong side of the chipboard as well. Darn it. Right? Right. Okay, well... That's an easy fix, I guess. I'll just turn this over. Turn this over. Of course, then I don't have the... Oh, brother. So I'm either going to have the wrong side of the brick Am I making this more complicated than it should be? Me? <laughs> oh, I've got the wrong side. All right. <clears throat> and now I've got this glue on the brick. Ugh, this is so annoying. Well, actually, maybe we would have the outside of the window. Facing the outside of the building. Listen to me justifying <laughs> my mistake. Ugh. No, it's got to be this way. Okay. This way. This way. And then the good brick. Okay. And I'm going to have to frame it anyway with something. So, because it's not perfect, of course. Let's get one on here, then the other one, it's for some reason it's way off. Uh. Isn't this fun? <laughs> like, what's she doing? Doesn't she ever know what she's doing? Alright, so I'm going to have to figure out some kind of, no matter what I do, this doesn't fit. Annoying. Didn't I just cut it out? I did. It's only going to work that way. Why doesn't it work that way? Let me do it this way. so weird. Like it fits perfectly 
the wrong side, so why doesn't it fit perfectly this way? I don't understand it. I really, really don't. Hmm. All right, well, I guess I'll try to rub the glue off of here. Like I said, I could. Um, let's try using this thing. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I know it's here somewhere. Uh, I don't see it right. Oh, here it is. I can't even remember what the purpose of this is. It seems to be working pretty good at removing this glue. I hate when I run into stuff like this that I can't figure out. Like I can't figure out. <coughs> Excuse me. Like what? So at the time I'm allotting myself, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this like I... Or at least, you know... Well, the glue might not matter as much because I'm going to put color crayon on it like I did um, if you watched oh the doors the cat and the door scene oh I suppose my camera's bouncing all over sorry Ah. This table shouldn't be moving like that, but I guess it is. All right, that's good enough. Um... Sometimes it seems to fit, and other times it doesn't. Okay, that. <sighs> but I am gonna glue this down. I think. Or maybe not glue it down, but just tack it for now.
with the tape. Ugh, which I always do the wrong way. Uh oh. Okay, I guess I'm either being too fussy or it did need to be cut more, you know, like perfectly. <laughs> but again, I don't know. I'm going to have to ponder. Whoops. What my next steps are going to be for. All right. Now, if I hold it up, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, maybe from this side. I uh, wonder where my little tea light is. I know it's in that one bag. This one, I think. Yeah. All of a sudden, I've got like a thousand of these little bags full of stuff for my project. I don't always want to take and then I was going to put like a top on this let's see if this fits just for just for something because these aren't very bright but uh, I guess I won't be able to tell unless it's dark out I can kind of see a little bit of a flicker. <laughs> anyway, and I don't know if you can see at all that 